Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to walk through start to finish how to create your storefront page. So bear with me because I'm going to do this from scratch. So I'm going to go into a blank screen and we're going to walk through this completely together. So first things first, ensure that your account is connected to Stripe. Uh, to do that, click on the business tab here and you can go through that setup process with Stripe if not already done. And then the second piece, make sure that your payments are all set up um, in terms of product creation because you can't create or you can't connect products if you don't have those products created already. So ensure that that is already knocked out when you're before you get to this point. So I'm going to hit the create button here at the top. And it's important to notice that we have two types of storefront pages. We have organization storefront pages as well as coach storefront pages. So organization, this is just going to be the hub of your business. So you're going to say, or you're going to talk about what your business does, uh, who who's involved. So you have the opportunity to lay out all of your coaches and your coaches bios and all the products that you offer and testimonials and FAQs and contact information. Uh, we're going to walk through step-by-step -step all of the information that's inside of this, but look at the coach page as going not a layer deeper, but getting more specific. And you're only talking about what that coach offers. So this is the hub of your business, and this is the uh, this is showcasing the individual coach. So you could put a lot of the same information there, um, but when you create a coach storefront, it's to sell that coach specifically, not an overall organization or business. So for this example, we're going to get started by creating an organization page. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our organization logo. So this will be our header and our footer logo. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create that and then header. So my gym is going to be called OPEX gyms. And then I'm going to put in my content. Experience fitness design for you. Then we're going to go header image. Nope, wrong header image there. We're going to go with the OPEX gyms header image. Okay. And then I could also embed a video for my header, which is, uh, it's pretty cool. So um, essentially that would just be a full length, uh, full length of the page video that you can embed right into your header. Um, you can do that or just go image. I'm going to opt for an image for my header. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to look at the about image. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to choose that image for my about. And then we plug in our about content. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. Okay, good to go there. And then same idea here. I could also embed a video here, but I'm gonna opt for the image. All right, now I add my coaches. So I'm gonna do this one by one. My first coach at my gym is going to be the one and only James Fitzgerald. Uh, page link, I'm gonna leave this blank. This will make more sense in a second when we walk through the coach pages. So essentially what I would do is I would finish up this and then I would go create my coach pages if I want to create my coach pages. And then I would put that link right here. So the coach page is linked from the storefront page. All right, I'm gonna go to Coach James here. All right, and then I'm gonna put in James's bio. All right, all done. And then I'm gonna add another coach. I'm going to go ahead and add myself. Why not? Coach image, coach Carl. Then I'm going to add my bio in here. Okay. A couple more coaches. Bear with me. Our next coach is going to be Candace Budsbeth. We're going to choose her image. Then we're going to plug in her coach bio. All right. And then one more coach. Last, but certainly not least, we're going to add Georgia Smith. And we're going to choose her image. All right. And then finally with Georgia, we are going to plug in her bio. All right. So that does it for my coaches. So I've got all the names, images, and bios, and then I'm going to come back and plug in that, that page link. 
All right, now let's go to FAQs. So we're gonna add some frequently asked questions. So question number one, where do I start? Plug in my answer. All right. Then I'm going to add another one. How does my coach get to know me? Then I'll put that answer there. Then let's go one more. What does my training look like? And then I'm going to answer that question there. And that does it for my FAQs. So I'm just gonna have three FAQs, just ensure you plug in the question as well as the answer. All right, now moving on to testimonials. So first testimonial, I'm gonna go Boris. Then I'm going to plug in his testimonial. Then I'm going to upload his image. All right. Now I'm going to add another one. Let's go Cindy. Let's plug in her testimonial. And then let's plug in her image. And then let's go one more testimonial. So let's go Nicole. Then we're going to go Nicole's testimonial. And then finally, we are going to choose her image. And then three testimonials is going to be good. All right, now let's move to footer fields. Um, so this will just sit at the bottom of the page. So let's go contact phone number. Let's plug in a good email for the gym. Let's plug in a website. Twitter, let's go Instagram, and then let's go Facebook. All right, almost there. Then we're going to plug in our address. And then this is just a footer tagline, so it'll just be a tagline at the bottom. And we're going to go with results, relationships, and fun. Okay, so I'm done there. So I'm just gonna review, make sure I didn't miss anything. All images are uploaded. Perfect. I'm gonna push this over to public and then I'm going to save. All right, so now you can see OPEX gyms. All right, uh, before we add products, I just wanna walk you through the code. Remember I said to go back to the uh, plugging in the coach URL. So um, this is the same idea so this is an already done coach page. So I created my own coach page here and kind of walk through that. All good. So what I did was I just copied this page link. All right, so I'm gonna copy that. Then I go back to my storefront. Then I'll go back to my organization. All right, all photos are uploaded and then I'm gonna find myself as a coach. And then I'm going to plug that in. And then I'm going to hit save. But before I hit save, I'm going to go and snag this URL. Okay, I'm going to snag that URL, URL because it's going to allow me to see how my page turned out. And that's my page. Pretty clean. I'm happy with that. FAQs, good to go. Testimonials are all plugged in. Footer fields all look good, results, relationships, fun. All right, let me just see if this link works. All right, that works for myself. Great, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna stick with that, but I'm not done yet. Now I have to add products. Now I have to add products to that page. So now the page is built, but you'll notice that there are no products connected, okay? so. I want to be able to sell things. I don't just want a marketing site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these three dots next to my organization page. I'm going to click edit product offerings. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go to create product offering. All right. So uh, first product offering I'm going to go is let's go in-person coaching. Okay. 
work with us in person. I'm going to create that. All right, so now I have this in my offerings. Okay, notice that I have no products connected to that. So what I have to do now is I'm going to go to edit products. And then I'm going to create product. All right, and I'm just going to call this a, let's call it a four week trial. Okay, work with us. Let's call it commit mint free. So now I have to select the product and the plan. So this is going to be what's going to show for that client when they go to checkout. So let's stick it under me, Carl Hardwick. Um, I get it. It says four week trial in person. This says remote. That's okay. Um, we're going to go one time membership payment since it's a trial. I'm going to add that and then I'm going to hit create. Okay. So now I have the four week trial as my only in-person coaching offering. Let's create another one. Let's go to consultation. Um, let's call it a 60 minute consult. Create that. All right. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to edit products, create product, uh, 60, 60 minute. Consult to a coach of your goals. Okay. I'm going to go me again, and then let's go a one hour consult. And I'm going to add that and I'm going to hit create. All right. I'm going to do just one more. So I'm going to go to programs and then follow one of our programs. I'm going to hit create. So you'll notice that when I go to, when I create programs, I can't edit the offerings. And that is because uh, once I select programs as a product offering, CoachRx is automatically going to pull in any programs that I have, that I am selling and are set to live. So you can go into the programs tab, go into programs, go into settings, go into sales page, and you can go through that process there. So it's going to automatically pull all of those based on the organization or the coach. So since we're building this for the organization, it'll be the organization here. So let's, let's check this out. So we're going to go to edit again. We're going to re-pull that URL. Paste that URL in. Okay, still happy with this. So you'll notice that now it says what we offer. And that means that we have a product or products available. Okay, so there it is. So what we offer in person coaching consultations and programs, these programs are automatically pulled uh, consultation, you saw me put in those products. So let's say it's in person coaching. So we're going to go there, we have one option for week trial work with us commitment free, I'm going to select that. There we go. Okay, so we have a one time membership payment. That's a reminder that it is only a one time payment. If it was a subscription, it would say $355 per month. I'm going to enter my first name, my last name, email, credit card number. I'm going to agree to terms and then I'm going to hit purchase. Once I hit purchase, my account will be created. My client account will be created. If I don't already have a client account, if I already have a client account, I will be charged through that client account, or if it's a subscription, that subscription will be added to that, that client account. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. All right, so that is all in creating a storefront, um, and that is adding all of your products to the storefront. And I'm not going to walk through creating the coach page. Um, it's the same as the organization. It's just uh, um, you're selecting the coach and you're walking through a, a few different steps. But uh, overall, it's the same flow. So I hope that was beneficial to you. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us, support at opexfit.com, or click this little bubble here and reach out there.